Meet Olivia. She hates going places to buy things, so she shops online as much as possible. She found a local shoe store on vacation last year and has become one of their most loyal customers. Anytime she needs a new pair, they are just a couple clicks away. Three to five business days later, the shoes arrive and she couldn't be happier. Now, since Grover's Shoe and Banjo Superstore is based in Missouri, they don't have to charge Olivia Florida's sales tax. Anxiously tracking her package, she isn't aware that she is now on the verge of joining the criminal element. Since the retailer did not charge her for it, she must, by law, calculate the sales tax, download and fill out a form, and then write a check and mail it into the Florida Department of Revenue. Though it won't make her feel any better, Olivia is not alone. Thousands of Floridians unknowingly violate this law each year, and as online shopping has become the new normal, this trend will only continue to grow unless something is done. Luckily for Olivia, help may be on the way. On June 21st of 2018, a Supreme Court case, Wayfair versus South Dakota, established that states are allowed to collect sales tax from online retailers, even if the company does not have a physical presence in the state. Before this ruling, states could only force tax collection if the business had a physical presence in the state whether that be a storefront, warehouse, or local employees. G'day, mate. Hundreds of millions of dollars are not being collected that could be used to fund various projects uh -oh. or reduce taxes for Floridians. Luckily, the Florida legislature can help us by passing a bill that forces out-of-state retailers to collect and remit this legally owed tax. Dozens of states have done this already, and the Wayfair decision makes it clear that Florida could follow suit. <laughs> To learn more about this issue, visit us at floridataxwatch.org.